Hey everybody. So today I'm going to be doing something I've really been looking forward to. I'm going to integrate some solar panels and some solar power into my electrical system here. I'm going to use it to charge the house battery, which runs all of my external lighting, as well as my refrigerator and a few other odds and ends in the vehicle. I'm going to show you where I got the panels from, uh, how I'm going to modify them, um, where I'm going to mount them, how I'm going to integrate it into my Red Arc DC charger. And um, we'll start off. I'll just show you all the stuff that I have here. So first I have these um, two solar panels uh, backed by fiberglass. They're the thin, thin uh, flexible style. I'll put a link in the comments or the link in the description to the ones that I got. I did a lot of um, researching and trying to pick which ones I wanted. The, there, there are some very expensive, high quality panels that I just, I didn't want to go with. But the, the primary reason is I needed ones that were a particular uh, shape, like a, they had a particular uh, dimensions because I'm going to mount these on top of my room cargo boxes. But um, they come with these, these are, these are solar connectors and I don't like them. They, they require a tool when you connect when you connect them in order to disconnect them they require a tool and what i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm going to set these up so that when i remove my cargo boxes i can disconnect the cables and uh so i went ahead and i got some different connectors that i like better and also these cables are too long so i don't like i don't want a bunch of cables bunched up and wadded up on top of my roof so what i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm going to cut these cables down to size and then I'm going to connect them to these to these quick waterproof quick connects that I got. And then obviously I'm going to put some some uh, nylon uh, shielding on all the cables to protect them from the elements. I got yellow for the solar. This was kind of a spur of the moment idea I had because I've been using red for the power system. But so I can quickly tell when I'm troubleshooting or whatever, which cables are which. I got yellow for the solar power cables under the hood. And then just some odds and ends here for um, for building the cables and for putting the uh, the heat shrink and the and the weather protectant on them. So um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna mount the panels. Let's go around the other side so the sun's not in your face here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount I'm gonna mount the panels on top of these cargo boxes, and then the cables are gonna come down here on either side on either side of the cargo box with the connect and I'm going to I'm going to put the uh the connections underneath this this fairing here and then I'll run I'll I'll, I'll merge those two cables and I'll run a, a single power cable and maybe the a ground cable too down through here underneath the hood where let's pop the hood real quick where the solar power cable will come down, I'll route it through here somehow, down to my DC charger, which has, if you look down here, there's my DC charger, maybe you remember from earlier videos, it has a solar power input, and the DC charger will prioritize any solar power input over input from, from the battery. So, uh, all right, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to put these panels, of these cases where I want to um, secure them and then I'm going to measure the cables out to the length to the length that I want them at so so it's going to look so it's going to look something like this so as you can see, the top of these cargo boxes have these little um, rises on them. And it's actually perfect for the solar panels because I was talking to the guys at Red Arc and Red Arc, the geniuses over there who are also really, really great individuals that, that are very helpful, told me that these solar panels are more efficient when they're not flat. So having the ability for air to circulate underneath these actually makes the panels more efficient. 
which is uh, which is ideal. And then I have some uh, some Loctite adhesive, and I'm gonna I'm gonna glue these panels the, right here to the top to the top of these boxes, and I think that's gonna work out really well. So what I want to do now is I'm gonna I'm gonna put both of these panels where I want them on top of the boxes, and then I'm gonna measure measure these cables the length that I want, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna snip the cables. And then once I get those snipped, we'll go back down, we'll go back down to my workstation down there and we will put all of the, uh, we'll, we'll connect all the, all the connectors and all the cables together to make them fit the car the length that I want. Okay, so what I did here, and it was a little scary, because I'm not sure how this is gonna turn out. But what I did here was I cut these cables off about six inches on each one. Because if you remember up on those boxes, what I want to do is I want to put these quick disconnects in. And I'll put them right here so that the disconnect, when the cable goes over the side of the box, the disconnects right there. So I can, I can disconnect the cable, right, just like this. And I can just remove that cargo box and all that'll be left is this, is this pigtail. Actually, I'm gonna do it like this. All that'll be left is this pigtail and then all the rest of the cabling will be on the vehicle and the only thing that'll be on the cargo box is the panel and this short pigtail. So that's what I'm working on. That's my plan right now. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it works out the way I, I'm envisioning it. So we'll see. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna strip all these cables. I'm gonna connect them. I'm gonna waterproof them, and then I'm gonna go up there and test them out. All right, all right. Okay, so I wanted to do like a way more thorough how-to guide for this uh, solar panel installation, but uh, I wound up having to order more parts, and it began it became a little bit more involved than what I expected than what I expected. So. I'm basically done now with like stage one. So on, instead of like doing the how to, I'm just gonna show you what I wound up with. So as we know, I have the Red Arc DC to DC charger. And if you look down here, if you look right here now, you can see it's getting solar input. So that is, that's the final step, right? That DC to DC charger, has a cable that comes off of it that I connected to a bus bar. You can see the bus bar right here, this red bus bar. So I mounted that bus bar here and I connected the DC to DC charger to it. And then on the bus bar is also this yellow cable right here, which comes down from the solar panels. And it comes down right here. And I had the clever idea of using yellow for solar, so that way I could differentiate the cables between uh, battery power and solar power. And uh, I think that was pretty uh, pretty in ingenuous on my part. Is that a word, ingenuous? Whatever, it was, it was clever. So, so the, the solar power cable comes down here. You can see it runs right up here like this. And then I will go around and show you how I mounted the panels. Here's a neat, here's a neat gimmick. This little, uh, this little guy right here, I keep it, I store it right there in my door. But whenever I need to get up on the roof, it mounts, mounts right there. So I can, you can stand on that. It holds like 250 pounds. So when I get up on the roof, I just use it. I use it to stand on. So up here, we have two 50 watt solar panels that I mounted to the top of my cargo boxes with uh, 3M tape. And it took a while to find the right kind of tape, but what I wound up going with was uh, the 3M 
acrylic foam uh, 0 0.04 inch thickness. And that's important because as you can see, the top of this is is a uh, is knurled a little bit, and that's probably to you know to to make it protect it from uh, physical damage or whatever. But it's a little bit knurled, so you got to have that thick tape so that the tape will bite down. And then I bought some uh, some 3M uh, prep prep wipes, so I wiped it all down, and then mounted the panels with the prep wipes. And as you can see over here, I put these quick disconnects. So if I need to take the cargo boxes off, I can I can quick disconnect the cables to remove the boxes. And there's a little bit of a play here, as you can see, a little bit of play so that I can open and close the lids of the cargo boxes with the solar panels uh, mounted on the top. So I don't know that I've seen anybody else using this exact setup, but uh, I kind of came up with the idea on my own and um, I'm pretty pleased with it. The, uh, I call this stage one of my solar install. This is a, these are, these panels are 50 watts each. So I should have in theory, hundred watts of solar now. Stage two of my solar install, I'm gonna put a hundred watt panel on the hood and then I will run that panel down to that same bus bar and uh, all of then then all of the solar. So the 100 from the hood and the 200, the 250s from up here will all go into that bus bar, which is routed through the, the, the Red Arc DC to DC charger. And, uh, and then if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that the Red Arc DC to DC charger will prioritize the solar power input and then it will augment the solar power input with the uh, power from the primary battery uh, being charged with the alternator. So this video didn't turn out as thorough as I had originally planned, but I think based on um, going over the final product, you can pretty get a good idea of, of what I did and how I did it. And I'll be sure to link all of the uh, materials that I used in the comment section or in the description. And um, that's it for now. See you around.